Hey Switchheads, welcome back, Kanan here, and welcome to my review of Very Very Valley. And hey, why not consider hitting that like and subscribe button whilst you're here if you're enjoying my content, and to get updates in the future. And if you fancy a bit more involvement, then hit that link down below and come and join us in our community discord. Come for the chat, stay for the streaming. And lo, I think it's time we check out where a Very Very Valet is going to make it onto the Wall of Fame, or the Wall of Shame. More somewhere in the middle. Gameplay. Well, Very Very Valet is a, well, a valet parking game, obviously. And this will involve you running, jumping, shoving, and getting in and out of cars. Still, obviously. And then basically driving is essentially just pointing in the direction you want to go. And, well, you'll go. Pick up a car. Park it. Go and get another one, park it, wait until someone needs the car back, pick the car up and drop it off at the drop off site. Simple really, or is it? You'll be given loads of missions by this here bird type character and he'll give you the skizzy or the briefing of what you need to do in each level. There are plenty of actual missions to do and basically you need to get as many stars as you can at the end of each mission in order to unlock extra missions down the line. And then there are bonus missions as well like bowling and well clearing rubbish and the like. And these missions are okay and they've served to make a bit of a distraction here and there. And so you'll end up starting easy, picking up parking and the like until you start ending up going through teleporters, having these little jumpy things and even more as you progress through the game as in the gameplay mechanics get a bit more complicated and you also get little care packages that come down and you have to like shove them and they open and you get things like springs feeling like tigger anyone boing boing okay so this game is multiplayer up to four or you can play it on your own as well and all that's needed is multiple controllers you can also change your characters and there's a few decent ones here it kind of like looks like sesame streets meets um, a valet car dealership uh, once you pick your character you can change its color and then off you go now i will say i played it in single player and also played it with my daughter in multiplayer single player was okay it was a lot of fun i really enjoyed it but i kind of like found this exploit and it kind of of almost well it didn't ruin it it just made it slightly easier to actually do the levels the only reason i'm forgiving the exploit but i'm not going to tell you what it is is basically because it doesn't actually break the game completely it's still a difficult game it still has a challenge which is good and although playing the game on your own was okay i would definitely recommend playing this with groups or at least one other person because darn did this get hectic as you can see by the gameplay now my daughter's six and she wasn't the best at controlling it but after she got into it she really excelled in fact when i finished my recording she took my switch with her and disappeared with the game and refused to give me it back which can only be a good thing because obviously she enjoyed it and although the exploit i mentioned before in the single player can be used in the multiplayer i think you'll find you probably won't in fact from what i can tell it's that hectic running around jumping in cars jumping out of cars everyone trying to do their bit i think everyone will be having so much fun in the multiplayer mode that they won't even care about using the exploit because you're having so much fun and I think when you actually get into the game and start getting far into the game, it becomes so complicated that when you get these no parking zones that crop up later on in the actual levels, you'll all be just scrambling around trying to find places to park your cars. Now, after the actual initial playing it and sort of like having a bit of hectic fun, you can slow yourselves down and sort of like think about it. One do this, another one do that. And I think that's how it's actually played. Or meant to be played and i will say that that was actually fun as well the whole calm down let's think about it let's strategically work our way out of this but even the best thought out plans can be thrown out the window as the hecticness and chaos starts ensuing graphically i think it's a rather nice game in fact i like the actual character designs i like the actual way that the actual levels or missions are designed i like the actual humor that's here and there in the game that the character designs bring 
thing and I think it complements the game really well. It's fun, it's bright and yeah, it's bubbly in places. And I also love how your character parachutes into each match. It's it's quite cool. Audio wise, the music has kind of like a, yeah, almost like an elevator type sound music to it or style to it. All the other sounds are there, screeching tires when you hit the power ups, it makes a bang. Yeah, it's all there, it all does its work. And again, it has that bright bubbly feeling to it. The good. The developer went the extra mile and put like combo moves in here within the actual controls. Yeah, I know I forgot to mention that before, but it's still a good idea. It's really awesome in multiplayer and I do like the look of it. The bad. The single player has an exploit that the multiplayer has, but it's more apparent in the single player and easier to exploit on your own. The score. You know what, I've had actual fun playing this game in single and multiplayer. Obviously multiplayer is where it excels, but the single player ain't that bad and yeah, deserves a good mention. And there's plenty here to do and it does have replay value you uh, well even more so in multiplayer and you know that's why i'm gonna give it my own personal score of four out of five yep four out of five this is actually quite an enjoyable multiplayer game that i have actually sunk quite a bit of time in single player as well and i think just for that holding my attention enough in single player game as well as like being great fun in multiplayer game i think it deserves that extra like nudge as well and as for my alternative, is none other than Overcooked 1 or 2, both are really good and yeah, it kind of like holds this type of uh, multiplayer, frantic, you know, co-op, working together type style to it. And I own both of them and I actually enjoy both of them and they are a lot of fun. And so what are your thoughts on Very Very Valley? Are you going to be picking up or are you going to leave it? I mean, if you're not that keen on the single player, then I'd definitely recommend it if you're thinking of getting some people over or just run a family game night. It indeedy is a lot of fun. And so hit that like and subscribe button if you want to be kept up to date in any of my other videos or even all my videos. And it also supports the channel and helps the channel as well. And if you want to get involved with our community then hit that link down below. Join the actual community discord. We's be a fun nice bunch of people in there and we'd also appreciate the new company. Because life is better when we switch together.